What is going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Well, guys, we have a final injury report for the Indianapolis Colts ahead of their matchup against the Tennessee Titans. So I want to talk about that real fast because a lot of interesting stuff happened on this final injury report. A lot of interesting stuff happened today, Friday, at practice. So we're going to talk about that here, so let's get into it. All right, so the first one, I think probably the most surprising news is wide receiver Michael Pittman Jr. Despite news coming out a couple days ago that he's expected to miss multiple weeks, potentially could be an IR candidate. Interesting enough, Michael Pittman Jr. was actually out there today practicing, catching passes from Anthony Richardson. And that is very interesting because nobody thought Pittman was going to practice this week or the next couple weeks. And he was asked if he thinks he will play. He said, we'll see what happens but nothing is guaranteed. He said, can he make it worse? He said, there's a lot of things to consider. And he said he doesn't feel anything on Sundays. He'll leave it up to Shane Steichen on what happens there when it comes to his availability for Sunday, which is kind of wild when you think about it. I mean, I don't know, guys, when I've actually heard this ever happen before, right, where a player is expected to miss multiple weeks, and then they're out there at practice on Friday. Right. And he officially wasn't ruled out either. So there is a chance that Michael Pittman Jr. could play in this game, which I think is absolutely crazy in itself that that's even a possibility at this point. Right. And so that's kind of a weird situation. I'm not sure exactly what to think about this situation when it comes to Pittman. Right. Is it not initially as bad as some people think it is? Or is Pittman just that tough of a player? I don't know. But just kind of a crazy situation there when it comes to Michael Pittman Jr. actually out on the practice field on Friday, which is kind of wild to consider. Uh, only one player was ruled out officially. That is running back Jonathan Taylor. A little bit annoying, <laughs> honestly, considering that Taylor was tracking like he was potentially going to play this week. Said he felt a lot better, but obviously wasn't quite there yet. So it will be Trey Sermon who gets the start again for the Indianapolis Colts. So that is definitely something of note there. Jonathan Taylor will not play in this game against the Titans defense. That definitely could be had. So Colts will be without Taylor for the second straight week. Um, everybody else is still listed as players who could play. They're still listed as questionable, right? So Sermon was a full participant after Wednesday's practice. Uh, Downs and Pittman did not practice on Wednesday and Thursday, but we're back for Friday. Kelly was a full participant Wednesday and Thursday, but did not practice Friday. Smith did not practice Wednesday and Friday, but was a full participant on Thursday. Kenny Moore was a limited participant on Wednesday, did not practice Thursday, but returned to practice on Friday. Pay was limited on Wednesday and Thursday. One thing of note that was just recently reported by Jeremy Fowler, he says Anthony Richardson is tracking to play versus the Tennessee Titans. He says Anthony Richardson expects to play barring a late week surprise. So good news there for the Colts. Anthony Richardson likely to play in this game for them, but everybody else will be questionable. There's a lot of players that we weren't sure we're going to play. Some players who missed last week, some players who did play, but it seems pretty good news outside of Jonathan Taylor that the Colts will get a lot of these players potentially back for this game, which would definitely be good, especially on the defensive side of things. So, yeah, guys, that's really it for the injury report for the Colts here. Uh, like I mentioned, guys, big game for the Colts, trying to get back to 500 here, and they're going to need every hand on deck to do so. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, but that'll do it for this one. And as always, guys, go Colts. Yeah.